What up, hotheads? I'm Henry, and this is Blaze the Roof. This week, we're reviewing a sauce named Ginger Goat the OG. I guess for original goat. The company's called Ginger Goat. It was founded in 2021. So, post-pandemic, three months into opening, they get their hot sauce picked up by Hot Ones. So, that's a pretty quick meteoric rise. Most places go a few years before they get noticed by Heat Mist. These guys started up right away, so... Kind of wondering about this sauce. The city they're out of, it's actually uh, a region. It's called the Waterloo Region. It's up in Canada, uh, specifically in Ontario. And uh, it includes cities, municipalities, such as uh, Kitchener, Waterloo, and Cambridge. Uh, it also includes a few other townships. A little bit about this region. Schools that are included in here are Waterloo University. Also, uh, Conestoga College and Wolfred Laurier University. I guess if it's French, but uh, or Laurier <laughs> sounds like sounds like a southern person saying Laurier. The Ontario craft beer craze actually started in this region, and Kitchener was the first city to implement recycling in Canada. Famous people from here include Lennox Lewis. Uh, he lived in Kitchener from ages 12 and on. He started his boxing career there, and even still resides there. He's the most polite post-fight interview I've ever ever heard. It's funny, after he pummels the shit out of someone, he's all like, well, I thought I had a really good... <laughs> yeah, just really just like... <laughs> so polite and prim and proper. Also from here is Jamal Murray. He's a star in the NBA for the Utah Jazz. And uh, actually one of my favorites, uh, I love Malcolm Gladwell, author podcaster uh just a phenomenal guy i love the way he looks at everything uh he grew up in this region as well if you've never read outliers read that book it's phenomenal let's now look at the packaging what we have here is a black label with orange on it you got a goat wearing a, a cabbie hat i guess he's supposed to be ginger and it's oh yeah og's the original goat so yeah but in here it has pineapple and it says pineapple and ginger hot sauce and the heat is three flames. It says, hey kids, meet the OG. A balanced blend of smoked pineapple, ginger, and garlic with a headbutt of Carolina Reaper at the tail end. Serve it on wings, tacos, ribs. I guess that's alluding to the fact that goats eat anything. This finishing sauce is sure to add a kick to any dish. I was gonna read it to you on French, but I just, my, I don't know very much French, sorry. Let's now look at the ingredients. The ingredients include apple cider vinegar, smoked pineapple, ginger, pineapple, carrot, lime juice, concentrate, Carolina Reaper pepper, smoked onion, smoked garlic, sugars, kosher salt, cilantro, and turmeric. The ingredient I'd like to talk to you about is kosher salt. Is it salt that's blessed by a rabbi? No, it's called kosher salt because it's a very porous grain of salt. That could either be flat, flaky, round, but it's it's very porous. So it's really good at sucking out uh, moisture. In this case, kosher, they use it to draw out the blood from meat. So that's why it's called kosher meat or kosher salt, right? You know, uh, Ben Shapiro must use that in his wife's veg. It's not ideal to use for baking uh, since it might not dissolve like other salts do. And uh, it is not iodized. Before we get any further, though, Let's hear from this week's sponsor. People lie a lot. More often than not, they lie to themselves more than anyone else. Here at Honest Tea, we believe that the truth will set you free. Let's cut out the BS. Our tea is infused with sodium pentothal, aka truth serum, so that you can have an honest experience. You and your loved ones will finally talk straight to one another. You won't be zen, but you'll at least have honest tea. Now for the moment of truth. It does have a smoky smell to it. Smoked pineapple. I've had roasted pineapple and that's phenomenal. I wonder if that's going to give it the same type of flavor. You can also smell garlic. I wouldn't say smell ginger. Maybe a little bit. Fascinating. I don't know. What else is in here? That's weird. So it's like a orange, like golden orange, orange yellow, something like that, right? Not a mustard color, but like, it's like a golden orange yellow, something like that. It's got a little bit of chunkiness to it. 
This clocks in at 55,000 SHUs. So that should be a middleweight. Uh, let's wait for the Reaper burn at the end. Cheers. That was a damn tasty sauce. That was interesting. I got the burn at the tip of my tongue like almost immediately. And then the burn went to the back of the tongue. You usually don't get that with Reaper. Reaper is usually in the back of the tongue. And that one was a little bit slower. This is a middleweight. So I do like pineapple, just not like too much. But this is like just the right amount. It's got a little bit of savoriness as well. You know, with the garlic and the onion. So it, it's pretty well balanced. It's not like a lot of sweetness. You do get the brightness from the pineapple and a good savoriness from everything else. I guess you could also taste the ginger in the back end too. Being that it has such a bright profile though, again, that kind of limits it to what can be used. I mean, anything with pineapple, except pineapple pizza people. Do not put pineapple on pizza. I guess, do whatever the hell you want. Just don't expect people to like it. You know, of course, more, most pork products. I guess I'm a big proponent of pork. Maybe I'm on the take from big pork. Who knows, right? I just happen to love how pork tastes with fruit. This would be a great addition with that. Of course, with ham, blah, blah. Chicken, it would have to be, I think, something more Caribbean influence. Uh, like jerk chicken. It's got to have a little bit of citrus to it for this to work with it. Uh, this wouldn't really work well with beef dishes, right? Um, but if you had like lemon chicken, I think this would be a good addition to it. This would not be good for a dessert sauce. It's too savory, uh, but you can use it with like uh, vegetables and fruits. Like if you're going the vegan route, this would be a good thing to add as well. Because again, brightness of the pineapple uh, with the, the slow burning heat would be a good addition. Would I buy this? Personally, it would not be a buy for me, but I think if you do like a lot of that citrusy kick, and again, because it's smoked, it's not as strong. It's got a little bit of mellowness to it. I would say uh, it's a buy for those people. For me, I would hold on to it. Uh, but you know, if I, I would buy it again in the future, definitely. So I guess maybe it's a buy, you know. Uh, is it a must have? Not for me personally, but I think a lot of people would enjoy this sauce. Mm. Next week, we'll be reviewing a sauce named Angry Goat Hippy Dippy Green Sauce. Until then, I'm Henry, and remember, Spice up your life. Take care.